Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back here with Zenrot. Hello. And we're here to look at some more commercials, or this time, VHS from Nintendo. <laughs> similar to the similar to the Pokemon one, except for this time for the Nintendo 64. Nintendo 64, a hot new game coming up, a hot new system. So can't wait to see what they would show on this amazing sequel to the Super Nintendo. Zen, are you ready to see some jank? <laughs> I am ready. Let's get into it. If you don't know at this time, um, I think the PlayStation is out, right? Because Donkey Kong um, Country came out when PlayStation 1 was released, right? It took uh, a while. Yeah. If everyone here is like going like, man, when are they going to release a sequel to the Switch? Deal with the fact that the Super Nintendo lived long enough to be at the start of the PlayStation 1. Which is pretty crazy, to be honest. The SNES was like ageless yes it was so oh boy let's get into it let's see and i can tell you tell you for free the results were nothing less than phenomenal let's see. within hours over 500,000 systems whoa it's a lot of n64 sold in <laughs> this is a pretty good intro so far Yeah, just keep showing that janky Hell controller. Hell yeah. The yeah. worst fucking controller of all time. Oh yeah, but the, the first with an analog, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, strangely influential eventually. Because <laughs> eventually PlayStation 1 would get analog controllers. It launched with D-pads, right? Yeah, it launched with just D-pads and then it got analogs a little bit later. Yeah, so N64 gets the benefit of being the first, I guess, good console with analog. David Shell, aka Quick Finger, martial artist and sportsmaster, just the kind of guy you need for the N64 reveal. Mm -hmm. Brian O'Rourke, aka Extended Play, action and adventure expert. Steve Greaves, aka Game Face, unbeatable. <laughs> what does that even mean? I, the other guy's had real credentials. He's just <laughs> yeah, unbeatable. They... We're taking him to Nintendo. Why did the <laughs> the lighting has completely changed? Now it looks kind of like an indie film. These kids are about to get shot. Oh wait, this is it. The power of N64, Way better. The driving force in the next generation of video games. With 64-bit technology, you're witness. Look at these bits. They're 64. Look at all my bits. 360-degree viewing. Three-dimensional graphic interpretations, anti-aliasing for crisp graphics. I, I'm surprised they showed someone using that controller because I still have no idea to this day how the fuck you're supposed to use the N64 controller. The yeah, Z why the button. Fuck does it have three handholds? Why would you make a controller with three handholds? <laughs> it changes depending on the game you play too, how you actually wield it. Look at that tiny ass screen that they're watching N64 footage from. This way we go that way. Oh yeah, here you go, kids. Yo, what is this? Yo, what's got in the dark in here? Oh, hey guys, how you doing? So, I understand you here. Back in the day, this is how you, you were able to see Mario 64. Ken Lobb. Oh, I know Ken Lobb, head of game development for Nintendo of America. I think he's still there, isn't he? I have no idea. A Ken Lobb is a name familiar to me. I'll say that much. But I think it's easier for me to explain that as I show you the game. How is he playing oh, Super Mario on like seven oh, different TVs at the same time? Oh, at the same time. Now, if I take the control stick and I just move it a little bit, you notice that Mario starts to tiptoe. <laughs> move it a little bit farther, Mario starts to tiptoe. God, this game's so good. Off, crank it and he goes full out sprint. Whip it in circles. Perhaps one of the control. greatest starts of a video game ever. It is go really to the great. Castle. Okay, now I'm going to cruise up into this castle because that's where most of the levels are. We will take go, no Mario 64 go. slander here. Kind of skills you have, little man. I no, won't anyway. Castle, <laughs> I love this game so much. Show you some of the cool things that Mario can do. And I'm sure you've seen. Already got 120 Mario stars. Mario can Already. Do like climb and jump on enemies. But now Mario's got some stunts. Yeah, he doesn't even need to do anything. I push the Z and then push jump. Yeah, I guess before this, oh. Mario had never done Mario a backflip before. Out, double back it's true. If I like run along, push Z, jump. Whoa, Mario jumps a mile. 
Oh, look at that. Did you see him climb? I can get Mario to do things climbing trees. <laughs> I can get Mario to do things by hanging on ledges. I can do a ton of stuff with Mario. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, you see the way you have a fully that. customizable Mario moveset. He missed. <laughs> Good job. Why are they showing this level? This is the this is like the worst level in this game. Well, I love these intermittent shots of their faces. Yeah, I mean it's their it's the early '90s version of a React face. Like Mario can do what? Okay, so I'm gonna cruise along okay. here and jump into this picture. Oops. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore hey, the fact that there's just a dude that? running around in a Mario costume at Nintendo headquarters. Hard. We had a bunch of R&D guys with busted heads. <laughs> they laugh at his pain. Cool because there's actually there's swimming levels in the game, there's snow levels, there's other stuff. This level actually involves swimming as well as kind of some traditional platform stuff. However, now it's all happening in a 3D world. That's awesome. <laughs> They just had these kids bring in here to say that's awesome and that's, that's rad. Awesome. Yeah, I wonder if they even like got to see it or if they're like, all right, we just need you to say like these lines. And Please. then we're just going to like take a few close ups of your face and you're done. Oh my God. These like borderline you're getting murdered shots. Yeah, they're like murder. Sh and the music is not helping with that either. No, these kids are going to be murdered at the end by Shigeru Miyamoto. You showed them too much. <laughs> Oh, he's down to 40 stars. Let's say, you know, they're not recording this for one game. <laughs> yeah, the one long game session. Ken Lobb is just that good. He went from 40 stars to 120. But he started with 120. Oh, that's true. Well, no. Ooh. So long. The, the classic, so long, gay Bowser. Yep, before the, the liberals took it from us. Mm hmm. I guess in this case it would be the conservatives, right? I don't know. Someone. Fuck them. Who took my gay Bowser from me? <laughs> Answer me now. <laughs> Answer me that. Whichever party system can figure it out has my fucking vote for the presidential. <laughs> Styling on Bowser. Anyway, I think I can go on for about the next 20 hours telling you about Mario 64, but I think it's time we move on to Armand. 20 show hours talking about Mario 64. <laughs> that transition! Oh, fucking transition! Pilot Wings! The oh two games God. that were available for, more, for Nintendo 64 at launch. Armin Williams, Nintendo producer evaluator, plays video games for a living. What's really different about Pilot Wings is that you get to deal with more than just airplanes. You've got hang gliders, you've got rocket packs, and you've got gyrocopters. The most unique Who has all of these options and then is like, let's the use the hang glider. The game, you, feel like that you're actually <laughs> you got a very good game. point there. Someone who really wants to die example, from hang gliding. Level, there's going to be some range you got to fly through. That's the first part of it. Now you got to be sure that you're making yourself steer real and steady because the mountains are in close. Okay. Now when you go through this all is the rings, the, this is like how Disney back in the 1920s did research, where they where they would have a room where a dude like was surrounded by bubbles to draw bubbles. You don't do that nowadays. Use it to slow down speed if you're going too fast. At least in the 90s. Yo, this is unreal. Look at the way he was holding that controller. He was holding it like he had no idea how to hold it. He was like, "What the fuck am I doing with this?" Oh man, you know how there's a constant compilation of actors who don't know how to hold game controllers or play yes. with them? I want that for modern day, but give them a Nintendo 64 <laughs> and say, go, have, go with God. Here you go. Good luck. Yeah. He's gonna fucking fail. <laughs> oh my god, that person, that person died and that kid was like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Smoked. <laughs> Waste. Mount Rushmore, but Mario? <laughs> One of our presidents is, of course, you Mario. You're good at this game? <laughs> Try this. Try getting at least a silver or gold medal in all three events, and you're going to open your way up into some new hidden levels, like the Cannonball stage. One thing that's really cool I remember about when the Cannonball is that you Mario are, but built change your camera angle, and that Rushmore. way you get a true uh -huh. feeling of, of yourself being in a real-time 3D environment. Miss. The Jungle Hopper. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. That fucking texture of the ground. The USA. 
Look at the, the like, rubber band effect on her legs. Oh, yeah, not... <laughs> perhaps not the greatest. She's also built crazy, if you look at her as, as a 3D model. <laughs> Very tiny waist, huge legs. You've still got one more game to play. Shadows of the Empire. Oh, hell yeah, Shadows of the Empire. Ah, uh, this is the part that's all gonna be cut because of the fucking Star Wars song. You better not yeah. do this to me. Yeah. No, I love Shadows so much. You guys are here to see Star Wars Shadows oh. of the Empire. Henry Shiraishi, Nintendo Development Coordinator. He also plays video games for a living. AKA not as important as Ken Lom. We uh, paid yeah, them no, about five dollars an hour. One of the really unique things about Star Wars is that there are several different game types in this game, actually. You fly a snow speeder over the ice world, a guy in a corridor on a maze type level. There he is! Wow! Boom! <laughs> Shot! Oh, they hit him with the Seeker. You, you ride a swoop bike, which is kind of like a big speeder. Oh, this is the worst level in the game. And one of the coolest parts in the game that I really like. Even though the, that guy totally got fucking smoked <laughs> there at the beginning. As a kid, it took me two years to beat this level. The Hoth level? Yeah, because I didn't know Damn. what button deployed the cable. So what I did is that I would actually just individually shoot all the the dudes until they died. God, and it Jesus. took forever. Yeah, yeah I was like about I to say, said, that must take fucking ages. Yeah, because you're not supposed to kill them that way, but you can kill them that way if you're <laughs> persistent. Yeah, see here, you're supposed to deploy the cable. AT-ATs. 98% from just that. So yeah, oh, what I do is up. I just... Yeah, he is getting crazy fucked up. But I eventually did learn the coat tape, the coat tape Wrap him up with a toe hitch. And you can circle him, him just like in toe hitch. And then you can trip him up. There was a brief moment where the Hoff right level part. was always the starting level of any video game. Research room. Actual lightsaber. <laughs> Again, that's why they had to be taken down eventually. This one kid's discovering too much. I can strafe and run and shoot in different directions. I can jump over objects. I can actually duck and fire at some of the stormtroopers. I can get different weapons to the flamethrower to kill these these big ice monsters. I forget their names. They're not ice monsters. Okay, this is the flying over the star. Destroyer. They're actual Star Wars Here's aliens. I just don't remember the Yeah, names. the thing that attacks him, right? And the, and yeah. Off. There's different views. You can zoom okay, in and out. 100% correct. You can watch the guy from a third-person view, or you can actually watch from a first-person view. Here, I have to destroy all these TIE fighters. Watch out for asteroids. As you can see, the explosions here are just as good as the other. Good. <laughs> what is going on? I just love that part. So many different camera angles on that one guy's face. Destroyed. Yes. Here's the swoop bike level. Swoop so bike. Chasing this gang. I think this is the Inside only town. swoop bike level in the swoop entire game. I can because you need to make it to Luke and kill all the guys, yeah, or else they the kill Luke for some reason. Even though Luke's a fucking Jedi, you need Dash Rendar really to like save Luke's ass. Gotta save his life, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty overwhelming at first when you're inside the narrow uh, confines of the town. But you get out later on and you actually get out onto the desert and you go over the He has shown three fourths of this level and now here's the actual end of the level. Insane. Here I can go anywhere I want and look at things. I can I was also uh, lost on this level for a very long time because I didn't know where the fuck to go. Yeah, and show his face again. Show this bootleg on solo's face once more. Fucking love Dash oh, Randar so much. Whoa, it's my favorite cool. extended universe you character next to the surface. weasel. That oh yeah, look at this! Look at this uh, awesome team up shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now we combine it. Oh, Kirby's Air Ride! Oh, wait a minute! Did they ever release Kirby's Air Ride? No, because that was a so, game, no. game. Yeah, uh, actually, I need to go back then. Well, Kirby's Air Ride. I had no idea it was planned for N64. How basic it looks compared to the actual game we got. Racing USA. This one looks about right. I wonder if they're gonna show that Donkey Kong racing game then that we never got. Golden I7? No, that must be GameCube. It's GameCube I was thinking of. Because uh, around that time, Rare got bought Harvest Body. Wave Race! Super Mario Kart R before it was changed to Mario Kart 64. Blast core. The only way you can play this game modernly is through my yeah, there's oh that's different. They didn't used to have that HUD, right? 
I don't think so, no. Nintendo Sports. In so many games. Rules. On September 29th, N64 will be released Get in ready. limited quantities. Get ready, 200 bucks. You know the date, you know the system, you know what to do, you don't want to wait. Change the system. Change the system. Are there still more? Special, oh, this is the actual end of the video thing. I just wanted to check this out to see what was up. 199.95. In the previous PlayStation One, we saw that the PS One was a 149. <laughs> so that's a heavy ass cost for a Nintendo 64. And again, I think at on launch on September 29th, there were only two games available. One was oh, Mario. Just Mario and Pilot Wings. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was only those two. Because I remember, because one time I was having an argument with a friend over the worst launch lineup ever in video games. And I looked at Nintendo 64 and I said, Nintendo 64 launched like two fucking games. And then I saw what they were and I was like, okay. Through the sheer mass of Mario 64, it cannot be considered one of the worst because they literally released it with the craziest banger in the world. Yeah, the power of Mario 64. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it can't be understated. And I think Super NES also released only three, but one of those was World. And the other one was something else. I forget the other ones, but it, one of them was World. So it's like, okay. Similar. The power of Mario holding together the launch week of this console. <laughs> As it does. For all of their shit. Mm -hmm. Except for GameCube. That was the one where they did Luigi with Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, Luigi's Mansion, right? Yeah, we should look up and yeah. see if I can find anything for GameCube stuff as well. We'll look at some more stuff. I wanted to see what this one was about. I'm glad to see it. There was a bunch of 90s weird cuts in it, but we'll see if I can find a little bit more featuring dudes talking. I'm still dudes trying to talking find talking about games. Yeah, and there's something called like the hot spots that I remember looking up because I remember thinking that's maybe was my way into stuff, but that was just them talking about Jet Force Gemini and Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> just two Man, games. Donkey Kong 64 is not a good game. No, but I it is the most game ever made. <laughs> It's so very game. It is the mo I can tell you right now here, dollar for pounds, if they were to remake Donkey Kong 64 for a modern day console, meaning PS5, it would be over 500 gigabytes. Because that game is just so many games in one. <laughs> Not since... wild. Yeah. But yeah, good enough for here. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back with some more videos in the near future. Thank you, Zen, for joining me. You are very welcome. And I'll see you all next time. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody.